And to the panel, James McPherson, host of the Late Debate here on Sky at 10 p.m. on weekdays, and fellow Sky News celebrity Daisy Cousins, who also has her own YouTube channel. Um, James, I mean, I should uh, preface this by mentioning that you were once a Pentecostal pastor. How did you react to the news that the Church of England is now considering whether priests should stop referring to God as he? It says Christians have from the start said God is not male or female. Should it now? Maybe it should now, you know, stop saying he and him or indeed, I guess, father. Uh, what do you make of that? Andrew, every time you think we've reached peak stupid, someone goes and does something even dumber than yesterday. Uh, I was amazed, first of all, that the Church of England would prioritise things like this. I mean, between 1987 and 2019, church Sunday attendance in the Church of England has halved. So you'd think they'd have bigger issues than wondering about whether they should misgender God. And uh, the people they're trying to impress with this are not people who are going to go to church anyway. It's not like people who had said, you know what, we're not sure if we want to become Christians, but if God's gender neutral, well, then we'll accept the death and resurrection of I Jesus mean, after all. It, it's not like they're suddenly going to change their mind. But I'll tell you what this is not about. This is not about equality, because the Bible says at the very beginning that God created male and female in his image. So it's got nothing to do with that. And it's got nothing to do with trying to, uh, you know, deal with the patriarchy, because Jesus was revolutionary in the way that he treated women. He treated women far better than the culture. There's an old adage that, you know, God created us in his image and now we're returning the favour. And that's what this is. This is people trying to recreate God in their image. Uh, they want to see themselves. Oh, I think that's absolutely correct. Yeah. Well, James, that's well said. And I also wonder about how you're going to reword the magnificent uh, <laughs> you know, uh, our Father who art in heaven. What are you going to replace Father with? Um, but then again, Daisy, I mean... Uh, I don't know. Logically, does it make sense? Look, I had a, a big think about this this afternoon. I'm Anglican um, and I've been to Anglican school. I've also been to Catholic school, but I, I am Anglican. I was baptised Anglican. And I remember um, very clearly in my religious instruction as a child at, at school, uh, we were told that God was neither male nor female. It was his, God the Father. But remember, God is neither a man or a woman, you know. And, and my young mind thought, well, that's just obviously how the early Christians made sense of God, um, you know, at in the in the cultural time so I, I never sort of felt put out as a young christian girl that god was being called he him or father and in any case uh andrew god um is not really the type of entity i don't think that you can assign pronouns to because god is not a person god is, is it can has been described as god is love god is an energy god is a force for good god 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 will bless you but that that's not a person so if the wokies want to call god they them well sorry that's also incorrect because God is not something you'd assign pronouns to. So I, I, I do agree uh, with James. You make a wonderful point uh, by saying that people are now returning the favour to God to make God in their own image. Um, it's not going to impress anyone. Uh, I don't know what line. literal harm it's doing. And, and you'd have to write an entirely new Bible. It's millennia of instruction that would just go out the window if they did this.